now we're going to talk about how to set up a water change with your versa pumps so that you can power on a power bar or some other source of electricity to your pumps and that will run the pumps to do a water change when you're done you simply switch off that power source and your water change will be complete so if you remember we set up two pumps previously all we've done here is put the daily dosage at 500 ml both pumps in this scenario are currently planned to start at 8 a.m and end at 12 p.m but now what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that you could run it with a timer or some other mechanism now to do this all we're going to need to do is change manual to constant and here you can see that there is rate and max daily dosage are the only two things you can set so what we're going to do is set a rate here now you can set i believe up to 200 ml a minute in continuous operation which could run 24 hours a day but that will also make the pump quite loud so let's just set it at 10 ml a minute now this is an interesting thing because this allows you not to worry so much about the length of time the power is on. So this you could actually set up as an automated system simply by capping the max daily dosage. So if it's 10 ml a minute, we wanted to dose 500 ml, then that is going to be 50 minutes. So you could run your power strip for an hour. But if we set this at 500 ml, the pump will stop dosing after 500 ml. So we're going to go ahead and save that. If you wanted to get the full 500 ml, then you would want to run this for 50 minutes, maybe 51 minutes just to make sure. Okay, so we save that. And now this one is in constant. There's your water in from your saltwater reservoir. We go to saltwater out. We're going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, right now it's set up as from manual. So from previously, we're going to tap those three dots. I'm going to switch it to constant. We're going to set it to 10 ml a minute, and we will set this to 500 ml for the max daily dosage, which is the top, the, the complete volume of water change that we're aiming to do. Again, you could put this on a power strip timer or simply power it on yourself and run it for as long as you want, at which point it will not necessarily dose 500 ml unless you leave it running for more than 50 minutes. So in that case, you could do 10 minutes and then you would do a total of 100 ml. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now your pumps are set up and operational. You're running them at a level which is pleasing noise-wise, so you won't actually hear them doing the water change. And you have also set them up so that when they are powered on, they will run. So you can either do that manually or through a power strip timer. And there you have it. That's the second way that you can set up a, a water change. Again, this could be set up automatically or you could do this yourself by powering on these when you want to do this water change. One last tip, which was mentioned in the last methodology, which was to do it in a completely automated fashion, is um, make sure that you go into the device individual devices and hit that cog and run the calibrate once all of your plumbing's in place that will ensure that the two pumps run the same and obviously you want to monitor this the first couple times you use it to make sure that everything is operating correctly okay that's it in the last video we're going to show you how to do this with scenes so the last video of setting up an automatic water change using versus and mobius will be using a scene which is a kind of combination between the two one is hard manual one is fully automatic and scenes involves you running your water change whenever you want through the mobius app